the water today with the Galleon Gallia 700. This is the 2020 boat with the Mercury 350 horsepower Verado outboard. So pretty excited to see how this thing performs on the water. Um, it's fitted with a four blade, 17 pitch propeller, a Mercury Revolution 4 prop. And this boat has only got 25 hours in the clock. So uh, we'll not go too hard on it because it's just about uh, running or probably not even properly running. But we will uh, give it a spin on the river now and see how she performs underway. To start the engine, just key on, ignition on, and then you can actually turn the key or hit the stop start button. That's it, half a turn. She's fired up, telltale's pumping. Sorry, telltale in there. And it's super quiet at idle. But whenever she's, it's actually a fairly quiet engine all around, but you do hear about the supercharger whine whenever she's running flat out. So we're on the water in the Gallia 700. We've just shot the shore footage, so I've had a bit of a blast in this thing. And this boat is a hell of a lot of fun to drive. Um, flags of power on tap. Um, I'm seeing like 55 miles an hour in the speedo. It's a super quick boat. Now it is rough out here. Um, we're sort of tucked in. There's about 30 knots of wind. We're tucked in a, a little sheltered part of the river here, so we're sort of sitting in a bit of flat water at the minute. But out, you can actually see on the river there in the distance, so you can pick it up. But there's breaking waves out there. Um, the really strong wind and the current, the tide is coming in. So with that really strong wind coming this way, the tide coming in, you get a really uh, pronounced wind over tide effect here. And there's like three foot tall standing waves out there on the water. And now I was out on a couple of American boats yesterday in similar conditions and they did not like it at all. This thing just blasts over the top of them and throws the spray well clear. Um, but it is, it's tricky to do decent camera work in it because it's a bit bouncy, you know. Uh, but no squeaks or rattles out of the boat. Super solid, feels totally planted the whole time. Anyway, I'll walk you through the dash now and then we'll run it and show you exactly how it's performing. So it's obviously fly by wire throttle and shift. So finger light controls, that's her forward gear, back to neutral, reverse, perfect, you know, really nice controls. Steering is very light as well. Um, and very responsive. So steering's good. We've got the Ray Marine turned on, chart plotter here, and this is our GPS speed. We got the controls here for the for the, the smart craft instruments, so volts and hours, engine RPM maintenance record, paddle wheel speed, uh, temperature, battery monitor, uh, temperature, what's that, oil, temperature, oil pressure, water pressure, and trim and then water pressure on its own. So all those instruments are working properly, paddle wheel speed. This here is not connected, this is the smart craft fuel. This boat has a, has a, a factory boat uh, fuel fuel level sender so the smart craft sender is not connected so that's why it's saying low fuel and then we got our temperatures paddle wheel speed as well so we'll leave it on uh, speed there so controls are lovely comfortable to drive from either a seat seated or standing position our uh, bow thruster as well let me show you that that's really responsive actually so turn on the bow thruster and drive it into the wind here it's just as those waves are coming through it's crap sucking a bit of air let me see tell you what let's get into the shallow part it's just decent it's it is deceptive on the water but these waves are bigger than you would than, than they look in the camera so let's get into the sh into the, sh uh, the, sh the uh, sheltered part of the river and show you how this bow thruster works and then we'll put it up on plane. Cruising speed on this boat's about three thousand, about three and a half thousand to four thousand RPM, and it's uh, it's cruises at about twenty five knots. Uh, and then flat out, as I said, it was seeing forty one, sort of forty two knots on the on the plotter, fifty six or fifty seven on the on the uh, paddle wheel. So hit the thruster. I'll show you this. spin her around yeah. driving her back into the wind here it's no problem at all coming into that crosswind 
So really powerful thruster on this boat, which is handy in and around the marina. Um, it means you can park it pretty much anywhere. And not too many turns lock to lock either on the steering. Let me see how many turns we have. We're fully hard to, we're hard to, uh, to starboard at the minute. So if we go, that's one, two, three, four, about four and a half turns lock to lock. So that's not too bad either for maneuverability. Okay, so let's put her on the plane now. It's on the plane in a heartbeat. Trim her down, put her on the plane, run her at cruising speed, and then we'll do a full speed run as well. I'll do my best. I'm just gonna stand and brace myself against the seat, try and hold the camera a bit steadier. So, engine's lined up. There we go. It's on the plane in a, a second second and a half or something and then if we bring her back to 3500 rpm that's a nice relaxed cruising speed so about 21 knots boat speed is really solid Feel, all the rails come up nice and high, you feel well protected on her. Controls are all easy to reach. And that's your, that's going to be your economical cruise. If we take it up to 4,000 RPM, we give her a wee bit of trim, a bit of trim angle. That gets us up to about 24, 25 knots. 31 or so miles an hour. 30. The paddle wheel speed is jumping around a bit just because it's under the water. Just get back into this wee sheltered spot here. So it is, I didn't talk too much there because you probably wouldn't have heard me, but once you're out there in the middle of that channel with those waves, that is a pretty shitty chop, to be fair. Um, it's about as bad as it gets because they're short waves, they're tall, they're just standing there in the middle of the river. Some of them are breaking over the tops. This thing just plows through it. I didn't touch the spot at all, I just left it set at 4,000 RPM, kept up the speed. We're doing 24 knots all the way down the river. And uh, feels really assured. It was throwing all the spray well clear, totally dry, um, really comfortable, as, you know, as comfortable as you can get in that sort of, sort of condition. So it is a very uh, assured hull in the water. What we'll do now, with the wind behind us again, we will put her on the plane, take it off the full throttle, 
and uh, show you how it runs flat out. Now it is going to be skipping across the top of the waves a wee bit, so um, maybe not the best conditions for trying to do a, a full full speed run, but we will uh, we'll do it. We'll give it a bash here anyway, and I'll show you how it goes. So we'll just give it one last run down along the edge of the river here and see if we can get slightly better footage. So here we go. slightly better footage there down along the edge of the river um, I did see the GPS speed flash up to 42 and a half or 43 knots the paddle wheel speed at 59 miles an hour I think that's maybe slightly optimistic but uh, then we had a wave and took off so I had to back out of it but listen apologies for the quality of the footage it's probably not a great day to be out here um, but Unfortunately, this time of year we do struggle to get any sort of decent weather at all to get all the water, so I thought I'd take advantage of it. This is a fantastic boat to drive, uh, a lot of fun. Now, if it was my boat, I probably would change or play around with those props to see if I could get something a little bit higher pitch. And I think I'd be fairly confident this boat will break 50 knots with the right propeller on it. But then I'm a complete speed freak, so a lot of people, if this, you know, if you're looking for a good all round performance where You've plenty of hole shot acceleration on the plane and you're going to carry heavy loads or a lot of people then maybe stick with the 17 that's on it but if you are trying to squeeze that last few knots out of it performance wise you could definitely do a bit better than, uh, than what we're doing here at the minute but listen it's a really impressive boat dash is lovely whatever you're sitting down 
you get great protection from the screen controls are all perfect as you would expect and uh, and it's just a fabulous running boat um, best thing I've had on the river in a hell of a long time possibly ever and that includes a 10 meter rib that I ran last year out here um, 10 meter rib with 350 horsepower in the back of it I, and this thing beats it hands down that I'd have this boat over all day long so anyway there you go hopefully it's given you a bit of a, an idea again apologies for the quality of the footage but hopefully that's given you a bit of an idea of what this the Gallia 700 can do and how she performs on her way thanks very much for watching hope you enjoyed the video